back into the pipe for the first of two men's final runs and Sven Werner crashes out with this monster rail grab. Oli Fennel gives his home crowd something to cheer about. Well, Johan Olofsson, rail grab Swedish style. And how about this big move from Patrick Hasler? Another thriller for the Swiss crowd. Mad Max Perotti lands some big air and takes big points too. And Rito Lamb picks up points with this twisty hand plant. But with three riders left to go, the battle for first place hasn't yet begun. Harkinson kicks off the aerial onslaught with some big air stiffy style. Qualifying in third, he's not used to losing in the pipe and shows why here. A backside rail slide, then not one but two monster rotations that rocket him into the lead. Respect from Klotzenader at the top of the pipe, he must be wondering what he has to do to move ahead. And despite aerials like these, Klotzenader just can't do enough, moving into second with one man left to run. Swiss favourite and hungry for a win, Bertie drops in and kicks off with some big air Denevo style. Ahead of Harkinson going into the finals, Bertie has no points advantage. Only the points from the two final runs count now, and after a first run like Harkinson's, victory in Lausanne won't come easy. It's an impressive display from Denevo, riding the pipe right to the end. But as the first round finishes, it's Harkinson who has the lead. Up to the top for the second run, and the pressure's on Denevo, some 16 points behind the flying Norwegian. But there's plenty more action to be seen before the prizes are decided, as round two of the final gets underway. Once again, Sabine Weir scores big points with a repeat performance in this second round, amazing even her closest rival. But Weir can't hold off the challenge of Sandra Bixell, who beats her by the smallest of margins and leads as the last of the girls drops in. It's Nicole Angelrath, darling of the Swiss crowd. She hits the pipe, driven by the partisan crowd, and shows why she's reigning half-pipe world champion. The crowds know it's a repeat victory for Angelrath as she wins this event for the second year running, accepting the cheers from her delighted supporters. But the show's not over yet as the men take to the pipe for the last time. The final 16 fight it out for a place on the podium. Finishing with style, Kim Christiansen does his chances no harm as he rides the pipe to the max. Ollie Holzman's had a quiet day so far, but he almost pulled off this big backside air. But take a look at this. Sven Werner just pulling off his version of a near backbreaking 720 and delighting the crowds as he did so. Then it's insane air from Norway's Daniel Frank with a big 720. Sergio Batrina then gets big air Spanish style. And that man Olofsson pulls off this aerial with a two and a half twist. Max Perotti is also fighting for a top spot and hits the pipe real hard to get maximum air for his first jump. Then it's a frontside stiffy from the Italian freestyler as he scores big to take the lead. Rito Lamb can't do any better and stays down the rankings with the top three still to come. So dropping in for the last time, the leader so far, Harkinson, hits the pipe. Monster air from Burton's flying Norwegian. He kicks this run off with two big aerials, then throws himself into a 720. Crossing the pipe, and it's a big hang time for Terje, as he really turns it on here at Lausanne. Another big aerial, and then it's into a snappy tail slide. Then some big rotation right in front of the judges. It's a huge score, a perfect run, and near impossible to beat. Klotzenader can surely do nothing to combat a run like that, just doing enough to take second, with one man left to drop in. So the scene is set, this would be the most memorable victory if Bertrand Denevo could pull it off. But with Harkinson on form, Bertie's got a tough job ahead. He keeps his cool, gets some good air time, but just loses it on that final jump. He's pleased though, he's done enough for a place on the podium, and his home crowd can't complain about that. Oh.
days after a memorable half-pipe competition with some of the biggest crowds ever seen on the tour, Nicole Anglerath collects her first place prize, picking up some valuable ranking points with it. Sandra Bixel takes second, just three points behind Nicole, and a brave Sabine Weir comes third. Fourth, it's Alette Yave, and Lisa Frey was fifth equal with Sandra Farman. And after a stunning display, Terje Harkinson confirms his spot as the men's number one, while the great all-rounder Bertie Denevo collects an excellent second.